there, back again with another one. My name is Lofilo Matilla. Usually we take a look at motherhood and natural hair care and hair styling tips. But today we're doing something different. We're taking a look at my skincare routine. I'd love to say that this video came highly requested online, but it came highly requested in real life. And which, which one matters more? You tell me, okay? I've been getting compliments on my skin. It is not perfect. If you're looking for perfection, this is the wrong channel for you. But I have seen significant improvements once I had developed my own skincare routine in terms of trial and error, right? I got a lot of things wrong and I've had oily skin. I've had the acne and this is what I've seen work for me. Let's start off with how and what I use to wash my face. This is the Dr. Organic Tea Tree Deep Pore Cleansing Face Wash. I believe I've been using this product for approximately four years, four to three years. Don't quote, quote me on that, but it's been a while. Once I found this face wash and realized that it is the one for me, I truly, truly stuck to it. So it is an oil controlling product. It's smooth skin. It reduces blemishes resulting in clear skin. And it also has salicylic acid, which I believe to be the real McCoy, to be the real, real ingredient that has, you know, given me such soft and beautiful skin. You do need to apply this product to a wet face and rinse off with cool water. Now, listen, comment down below. Do you follow the packaging instructions, the packaging instructions, the manufacturer's instructions on how to use a product? If they say cool water, do you just disregard that and go ahead with, with warm water or whatever? <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what you think. I do. I definitely applied a pea size amount to a wet face and you'll see I will rinse it off with cool water. Let's talk about the salicylic acid once more, right? This is a formulation. It is a product that is able to shed your dead skin. So I believe this has gone very far in helping me clear some of the dark marks um, as a result of, you know, some acne, some pimples and any blemishes on my skin. So it sheds dead skin, bringing what to the surface? New, clearer skin, right? Newer skin cells. And it isn't a harsh formulation in my opinion of course you always want to test and do a little skin patch test uh, with your products but for me it really works it smells really good it smells like tea tree oil and lemons and grapefruit there are a whole lot of um wholesome ingredients that go into it so i've now rinsed my face i use a paper towel i use i keep paper towels in the bathroom i no longer use a face cloth on my face you know because uh, i don't know i don't know we grew up with them but i'm just in a phase where i'm just like mm -mm, it's a little nasty over time right I, it's just me it's all about preferences you have yours i have mine and paper towels are where it's at for now okay <laughs> you want to make sure that your skin is dry Let's introduce this baby. Very, very new to my skincare routine. It's a Dr. Organic 5-in-1 purifying toner, oil reducing. Uh, it has shine control as well as deep pore cleansing. Now, this baby is not my favorite and you'll see why. Do you see that? That sort of foaming, white cast, it sort of leaves. I'm not a fan of that. And I'm not too sure why this is happening. Perhaps my face was still wet after drying it with a paper towel. I don't know. But every time I've used this product, which is about 10 times in total, uh, this happens. You know, that foaming happens. This is me trying to dry it off. I will give it its flowers, though. Unlike other toners that I've tried in my teen years and early 20s, it doesn't sting at all. So... Hmm, we'll give her another try. Maybe it's me. Maybe I am wrong. And I typically do skip on it because of how it affects my serums. Up next, I apply the Porsche M Marula Skin Serum. Local is all they lacquer. We're suppo supporting, rather, um, local skincare manufacturers in South Africa. And this baby is very, I don't want to say bland, but she's like neutral, right? 
It's the hydration that you need to add back into your skin after washing your face. And that's not to say that the face wash is drying. It isn't. So this Porsche M Skin Serum hydrates. It provides an even tone as well as minimizes pores. You saw it's a jelly gel like consistency it's see-through it doesn't smell strong so it really doesn't offend and i think there's a product called uh Demeet the cone right which actually acts as a barrier an added barrier to your skin so i work that in there okay mm -hmm. and then next i follow up with the real mccoy the og og i'm really loving this product also been in my skincare routine for i want to say three years it's the skin functional dark mark management now they do recommend that you use two to three drops but i do six mm, i do six it's uh <laughs> i'm not really following the manufacturer's um instructions here but i just believe in it so much that i feel the more i apply it the more it will work it's this beautiful amber color and it also has a watery consistency it's not too runny but i just wanted to show you how it runs down uh, my face as well as the back of my hand it is really a game changer i believe so it lightens dark marks inhibits further dark mark formation as well i really enjoy it you'll see the foaming again ah there we go so i had a google right and i looked up what it is that might be causing this so i could be doing three things wrong i could be using too much product i could be applying the serums still on wet skin and perhaps with the toner as well and i could be rubbing in the products too much so i'm manipulating the product just a little bit too much maybe i just need to let it sit mm -hmm. so i don't use a what you call it um what is it like a day cream i've used the porsche m day cream but you know it, it's okay it's okay i prefer to go in with the sweet almond oil two to three drops you want to smooth it in or pat it into your skin this bottle i believe i bought at Discam. it's multi-purpose i use it for my skin and my hair it typically lasts like a year so i hope you'll be able to still find the same brand and yeah otherwise any alternative sweet almond oil that you can find this particular product has been cold pressed so it has vitamin e which makes your skin smoother over time and i am living testimony that sweet almond oil absolutely slaps for your skin it also helps with uh, reducing fine lines and wrinkles a girl is crouching on 30 okay a girl is crouching on 30 and <laughs> not to say that i'm worried about that but you know let's just rather be safe and of course avon uh we're using the the uh, face and body spf 50 it's the pure and sensitive range girls what more must i say hey why are we applying all of these expensive products right and then we don't seal it off with an SPF. We're trying to get rid of your acne scars. We're trying to get rid of your dark marks and blemishes. But how will you, sweetie? How will you when the UVA and the UVB rays are hitting your skin raw? Hmm? In fact, if you read the packaging on some of your skincare items, they do recommend that you follow up with sunscreen. It is very, very important. The skin get, skincare girlies say that you use two finger lengths of, uh, what do you call it, sunscreen. And typically, that's what I do. If I'm not wearing makeup, I definitely will reapply my sunscreen somewhere across the day, typically midday, right? I like to use as a marker to reapply my sunscreen. So this is what I've been doing with my skin. Let's talk about some bonus products. This is the Dr. Organic Deep Pore Charcoal Mask. I, in the beginning, I used to apply this daily in the evening and i saw a rapid transformation of my skin but now i apply it once a week or twice a week in the evening and this is what i use in the evening it's the standard beauty vitamin c brightening night serum obviously it says use it at night so please use it at night my dear okay i think it 
can sort of overexpose your skin. You can actually get darker if you are using it during the day and not wearing sunscreen and all of those complications. I will link the products down below, but that's typically what I do with my skin, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get back to regular programming, my suggestion, and of what you should watch next. Don't forget to subscribe. We are growing. We're doing great things, okay? Love you so much. Thank you. <laughs>